it's Kathy with Kathy's Extreme Couponing and welcome back to my channel. Oh, how I wish that I was with this book in this chair on a beach in Florida right now. It would be much much warmer than 37 degrees. But I wanted to bring you guys our thrift haul video. It looks like a Roscoe wants to lounge with me. Um, I'm sitting in this because it is my favorite item that Greg picked up yesterday. He went to six stores yesterday. Uh, we didn't get as much as we normally get or that you guys have seen in the past two videos. Speaking of which, I wanted to tell you guys the vacuum cleaner's gone. Uh, the sleeping bag's out of here. Several of the shoes that I've shown you, they're gone. And I haven't caught up on the clothing yet. Um, I've sold a couple of pieces, but I've still got a lot more to picture. I need Greg to model them for me, and I've just not had a chance to get that done this week but they are coming. I have 31 items in this haul. Um, at the end of the video, I'll show you guys my whiteboard and let you know what is going on, um, how much we spent out of pocket for this trip, and uh, what I expect to sell all of this product for. But I wanted to show you guys first the chair because it is awesome. Let me get Roscoe off and <laughs> get myself off. <laughs> he won't get down. Um, this is a vintage aluminum frame shave lounge chair it does fold up completely these guys are awesome especially right now at this time of the year this is a gorgeous color um this is probably from the 70s and it uh folds completely flat it is in great condition it's dirty so Greg will take it outside and hose this sucker off for me and these will this will sell between 50 and 65 dollars so i'm pretty excited about that it's one of my favorite pieces from his trip over here and next to this is uh, two um, complete sets of Rubbermaid, I said is, it's ours, hurting my brain, that was incorrect. Uh, there are two complete sets of Rubbermaid mop buckets with the ringers on the back. Parted out, the bucket sells for around $15 to $20 and so does the ringer. Um, I probably will sell, I don't know if I'm going to sell them separately or together, but as a unit, I'm looking at getting about 40 bucks, and these are absolutely filthy, so this is a total um, take it outside and wash it. But one of them had an extra ringer in it, so I will get about um, $85 to $90 for both buckets. I'm pretty excited about that. I've got a Dirt Devil um, little small vac, and this guy sells used for about $25 to $30. And so does the, this uh, Eureka, the Boss. It's a bagless um, little vacuum. But this one's pretty cool. This is a hand rechargeable vac by Dirt Devil. It's a cone, K-O-N-E. And these guys sell used for about 35 bucks. So I'll plug this in. We'll charge it up, make sure it's good to go. And then it's got some um, lots of life left and it works properly before I list it. So keep your fingers crossed that that works great. Okay, let's move up to the rack. We didn't get very many clothes this time. Um, all the coats are half price this week at the store, so he couldn't leave these. <laughs> um, it's getting almost too... I, I doubt we'll be bringing home many um, coats after this week or next. Um, but this one's a pretty awesome men's jacket. It's a corduroy. It's fully lined. It has a wool lining, plaid lining on half of it. It also has leather on the shoulders and then on the pockets for accents. Um, it is a country coat by Sears, the men's store. It's missing a button at the top and it's also missing a button on the um, sleeve, but I've got them in, their extra buttons are still in the coat. So I'll just pop those suckers right on there and um, it, it's got no stains or holes. It does have signs of use, but it's still a very cool jacket. I'll price this at $39.99 right now at this time of the year. I've got a women's Liz Claiborne Liz Wear parka with toggle buttons on it. It's noon in our location and our uh, emergency alarm is being tested. So if you guys hear that, that's what's happening. It's a line down coat, a size large. No stains, no holes, in awesome condition. I'll put this on for $39.99. And I also have a women's leather blazer. It's a one-button blazer, fully lined by Denim & Company, size large. 
in excellent condition. I'll sell this for about 25 bucks. And then I have two sets of curtains. Now this one has the backing on it for like uh, if you're trying to get rid of uh, sunshine or um, it helps hold out the cold or the heat. Um, two panels, they match. They've got the large grommets. I'll sell these used for about $25. I'll need to wash and iron them. And then I've got this set, gorgeous print on it. Also uh, two panels, matching pair. Big grommet curtains, and I'll sell that for about eighteen to twenty dollars used. No stains, no holes, in excellent condition. Uh, I'm a huge Stephen King fan, so Greg brings me any Stephen King books that he gets his hands on. I've got this one from my little treat yesterday. I just started it, so I'm terribly excited about reading it. Um, I've got a cotton light hat. Oh, it is huge. It's about that thick. Um, I've got a cotton hat. Great for the beach. This will sell for around $10 to $15. No stains, no holes. Now back here in these two big boxes, we got this as one unit. Um, and I only counted it as one, but there's going to be about 20 to 25 different ads in these two boxes. It is an Oster uh, kitchen center. It looks like I've got three tops. So I'm not sure all that's in here right now, but these guys do better for me parted out and I part them out and sell the each piece between 10 to $35 depending on what the pieces are. I've got the um, blender, um, carafe, and then also like the spinner for the bowls. I think pretty much all I don't, the food processing parts, Pretty much all I don't have. I think I'm just missing the bowls. But this actually, in the end, I will get $100 to $150 for all the parts. So I'm pretty excited about that. We've got a great pair of uh, black leather Justin Roper boots. These guys are a size 8B. They're in awesome condition, and Greg will polish those up, and they should sell between $40 and $50. Bucks. Um, I've got five of these uh, feeding tubes. They are Kimberly Clark and they are still have all their paperwork and they are sealed. Um, so I will put those guys on and uh, list those for around $40 a piece, which is a great um, deal on these because they sell close to almost $85 to $90, $90 uh, other locations. So that'll be a fantastic deal for someone. Some amazing men's leather Stacy Adams Oxford shoes. They've got real snake skin on the toes. These guys will be priced at 40 bucks. And great, si uh, great size. I think they're 11s. Um, no, 12 wides. So that's a pretty sweet size. A little bit big, but still in good shape. I've got a used Back Joy Core um, back brace. It needs to be cleaned off. These guys are like over $40 new, so this one I will sell close to $30. Probably like $28.99 is what I'll price it at. I've got a sun tea pitcher, a one gallon glass sun tea pitcher with spout. Um, this guy, only about $10. Bucks. It's not vintage. It's just um, a nice little glass sun tea pitcher. I've got a uh, profile pipe cleaner for clogged drains and pipes. New in box, still sealed. Actually, it's not new in box. It's got in some may put it in a Ziploc bag, but it doesn't look like it's been used. So we will um, go through all this, make sure all the parts are here, and price this. This sells for $25, so I'm pretty excited about that. I've got a great pair of leather steel toe men's work boots. These dudes are size 14. They've got lots and lots of life left in them. They just need to be cleaned and polished, and Greg will take care of that. They'll look in great condition. And these, you know, boots are expensive. They sell for around like $150 new, so we should be able to get about $40 to $45 bucks out of this pair of boots. Now, I've got two king-size comforters. The top one has two shams with it. Um, I'm in need of, we have a king-size bed, and I got rid of my uh, comforter set, so I wanted a, wanted a different one. And I think I'm going to keep this blue and gray one at the top up here with the, with the um, 
shams. But I'll sell the other one. I probably should. Uh, I'll price that for around 25 or 30 bucks. No stains, no holes. They're both in great condition. This this one has less signs of wash and use. This one has a little bit, but not much. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'll clean it up and um, it's got a little bit of balling right here. I'll clean it up and uh, wash it and put it on our bed for this week or for this year, <laughs> for this week. You know, I could change, I guess, every week. Okay, what happened at the register this week is um, Greg's total for his entire trip was $92.39 for all 31 items. Now, I counted the kitchen center as one, and then I actually ends up being about 20 different ads. So this is going to be more like 51 items if I parted it out that way, but I only counted it as one. Um, if you do that and divide it out, we only paid $2.99 per item. And my expected sales for all the items that I showed you was is $1,015. So hopefully um, it'll be a little bit more because I try to always be conservative with my totals when I'm getting them together. Just so that I'm not disappointed when I make all my sales on this stuff. Um, I hope you guys have had a great week and are getting ready for the weekend. It's Friday, so I'm sure you guys are terribly excited that the work week is over. I did get my coupons ordered, so hopefully they'll be here on Saturday morning. And I'll be getting together um, all of my coupons and probably posting some more printable coupon links on my Facebook page uh, tomorrow when I'm doing that. So uh, my next video coming up should be at the beginning of the week with my couponing haul video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I sure do appreciate you guys watching, and I'll talk to you very soon. I'll see you at the beginning of the week. Bye!